Hi guys, remember to subscribe to join our channel where we do a weekly podcast on Scooby-Doo called Smash or Pass, reviewing all the Scooby movies in order. Thanks and enjoy the video. So welcome to another video on the JV hey. and Millie channel and today we're going to be taking a look at another one of the Scooby-Doo 2 Monsters Unleashed Peaceworks. So we have taken a look at one previously on the channel. We do have a couple more in order, so subscribe for that. You can see there the binder, we are trying to get the full collection. And also subscribe for the Smash or Pass podcast happening every Saturday where we're reviewing the Scooby-Doo movies. So we're going to take a look at this piecework, as we said. Now you can see there that the printing is all very clear on the front. You can see that this material is perhaps a little bit more worn than the other one. You can see it's almost quite bobbly, like you can see that it's not very flat. But yeah, I'll take it out of the sleeve. This is going to like be nerve wracking for JB, I think. Because it's like fully zoomed so you can see how I'm doing this. Oh gosh, here we go. So yeah, I don't know if that emphasises that kind of wear and tear a little bit more to you. But ultimately the card's in really good condition. You can see all the edges here, that there isn't any bends, there isn't any kind of scrapes or anything like that. It is literally perfect. That's cool. So it does say here, the item featured is the Mystery Ink T-shirt worn by, worn by Freddie Prince Jr. as Fred. Scooby-Doo 2 Monsters Unleashed, so you can see that there. That is awesome, and I do like that look, to be honest. Like, it's a pretty cool t-shirt. I wonder if they ever sold any as merch for the movie. That would have been a great idea. And as we said, they did do a big collection of these pieceworks. So for Freddie Prince Jr., they also did a jacket, some trousers. We do have a couple of these things on order, like we said, that we are going to showcase. Now, what is this scene? If I remember correctly, this is when they go back to the treehouse and they're trying to um hack into the control panel for the monster hive i'd agree with you if you look at the background there it's very much kind of like the chaotic kind of treehouse almost vibe yeah so that was a really interesting scene like you said now i am looking forward to us getting around to this movie on the smash or pass podcast given how much was showcased at the minute yeah i mean it's gonna take a few weeks maybe 30 plus weeks but we'll it's a reason to stick around and there's a lot of fun to have in between that i'm personally looking forward to music of the vampire i'm looking forward to surprisingly some of the ones that are a bit weird like monster of mexico but regardless i think this is amazing and these piece works it's safe to say that i'm addicted to them and just to have a little bit of this movie whilst it isn't like you know a magnum opus of adaptations or cinema it's like it's a franchise that's really close to me especially these two live action ones yeah the live action ones like you say are quite iconic now i'd say ultimately that you might have missed out the best scooby-doo movie the one that i'm looking forward to reviewing would be the loch ness so like we said there are amazing things upcoming on the channel and also a big back catalogue as well. We've unboxed some of the Scooby-Doo cards from the first live action movie. We also have the matching binder for those that you see for Scooby-Doo 2. So you can check out that collection. And we've also done the booster boxes for the um, Monsters and Mysteries or Mystery and Monsters. Either way. Um, so yeah, a lot to check out and a lot more coming. So guys, please make sure to like, comment and subscribe. JB and Miller.